Thank you guys for watching another video in our series. This time I'm going to review with you how to review the activity feed in Microsoft Teams. So here you can see the Microsoft Teams client. In the, on the bar over on the left-hand side, we call this the left rail or the app bar. This will also show up at the bottom, the bottom rail or app bar of your mobile, um, the mobile app for the Microsoft Teams client. And so the first button is activity. And so we want to talk a little bit about activity today. You can see we have, there's one red bubble there. And so you can call those bubbles or badges or notifications, whatever you like to call them, just like text messages or Facebook or Instagram. If you have new things that are going on to call your attention to, that's what these bubbles are all about. And so if you quickly click on activity, it's going to give you a feed of all the things that have happened since the last time you logged in to the client or logged in and saw the activity. Anything that is new um, will be bold for you, meaning you have not read that. So if you click on that, it will quickly change this page over here to take you to that. Um, section of the uh, Microsoft Teams application. So it quickly navigates you there. So you can see Dr. Judy replied to me. And again, it quickly highlights this in yellow over here to show me what um, is going on with that activity. Another thing that's really great about, about activity is you can use this filter. So if I'm looking for a specific topic, um, maybe I want to know about training. I can come in here um, and search for um, doctors, you know, so if you have something in your activity that you know has happened, but you don't know exactly where it was, you can quickly search for that and come in here and take a look at it also. You can um, use your feed to use just to see your activity. And so just for the, recent things that I have done and um, the activity feed can be really good. One last thing I want to talk to you about is search. Search is really powerful. You can look for messages, files, and all sorts of things that are going on in your environment. And so if I wanted to see one of my colleagues, Dr. Strange, I could um, come in and search for him. It will automatically pull up the user that I'm looking for, and I can um, quickly um, navigate to him. But what if I am just looking for um, a specific file or a comment that might have happened um, in, in the past? And so I could search for training. It's going to quickly show me any kind of training teams or content that I might be a part of. But if I hit enter, it's going to pull up a full um, search for that word or phrase. You can see it pulls up messages. It pulls up people. We don't have anybody name training. And then it pulls up, pulls up files. And so this is a, a great way to um, just navigate quickly. We have lots of filters. So if you want to se um, segregate out your search from messages to subject for a specific date, um, a sp for a specific team, or even in a specific channel, you can do that. And the same with files. You can select a specific team, a specific file type. Maybe you know you're looking for a PowerPoint, and maybe you know um, the person who has modified it. But say, I'm just looking for training PowerPoints. And if I filter, you can see that it's quickly going to pull back and eliminate all the extra files there. And so the search is very powerful. It's only going to give you access to the things that you have permissions to see. Um, but as long as it's in one of your teams or one of your chats, you will be able to find the content that you're looking for. I hope this video was useful. Thanks so much for watching.